Are we rolling? This is before oh, bitches okay. was getting burgers. Yeah, 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 yo, 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 yo. <laughs> I'll be that boy laying lazy. JC, the chosen one. <laughs> the light. And I'm your girl, Abdul Celeb, representing Laurelton. I'm happy to be here with you brothers tonight. Set the tone on. podcast. That's L- right. L gang, right? Laurelton. Uh, sometimes when it's safe to say it, I am. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> you know, I want to give a shout out to everybody representing L gang. You know, we come through a lot. Shout out. Uh, we was talking about fraud a little while ago, and no, uh, no, we want to no, give a shout out to Ox. No. We want you come home Yo, soon. Uh, nah. Lex, we know you're home now, and nah. we hope you're doing the right thing this time. Shout out to L gang. All right. Yo, <laughs> free my brother Ox. That's my Listen, brother. Listen, I'm still stealing C- uh, chapsticks out of CVS, oh, man, so Lex. you can help me out with some fraud. Shout I'm out, down. Lex. Yo, all fair. power Yo. to the people. Yo. Yo, you heard about that brother that he just got caught doing some fraud and he bought all these Lamborghinis and all these Bugattis and some kid, you know, all these PPE yeah. frauds and shit. Really y'all know. looking a little shining and glistening. That's how y'all I have, have this nothing show. On. <laughs> yeah, I have nothing yeah, on. PPE. I don't know what y'all looking PPE and shit. Yeah, I don't know yeah. what you're talking yeah. about. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yo, looking good. Yo, listen, I'm more, Ev- S- I'm more SSI-ish. Yo, <laughs> yo, Ev. Yes. The celeb. Yes. All right. With good cred. Working on it. Working on it. <laughs> Welcome to the show. Thank you for having me. All right. A little background. So you, you, you're from Lawton, right? Yes. Okay. Um, You <laughs> c- comedian? Yes, I do a bit of stand-up comedy. So I've been in that game for about two and a half years now. Okay. But anybody who really know me know that it's kind of been something that's natural that I do anyway. So mm. nobody was really shocked when I'm like, yo, I'm on stage with it. How how is that like starting up? Like how you how do you oh, use, my like first where do you show? go? I don't know much places but Carolines or something in well, New York. Well, yeah, that's uh, that's the top tier. You got okay. some old white man dick get up in there, <laughs> and I ain't got that type of stomach yeah. on me yet. Y'all here? So I'm off in the hood. You, you feel me? Where, that's what I'm saying. Where the hood? So that's why I came here. You, where you, you get know, with the black Shatik niggas. said, "Bitch, you want to get some tickets? So you get your ass over here and do this interview." <laughs> So I'm here to try to see if I can get some help. Yo. It's comedy. Oh, man. But, you know, I've been in vibes of, I've been in your footprints in Brooklyn. Somebody said from Brooklyn. Throw a couple of roster pastas at me. They don't like my jokes out there. They ain't like that. A little oxtail. Yeah, Yeah, a little rude out there. What? In the Essence Lounge? Essence Lounge. You know, everything changes, but it sounds familiar. Mm -hmm. Um, Is it? uh, Atlantic. It was another name. Yes. Uh, Another long name, like an African name. Shout out to those people. Yo, what? <laughs> yo, nah. not require something. Nah, I, I yo, know. You, you know, you know, um, JJ Matisse. Yeah, shout out to JJ Matisse. That's the homie. Yes, nah, I think like, I think like two years ago. I think I did like a podcast with her before. Okay, it was me, her, and my other man. I do some shit with BK with. We just killed Ooh La La. Uh, shout out to Chuck. That was his production. You we did a comedy shit? show. Yeah, we just rocked it. And you know, a couple of it's an aggressive folks. You know, doing comedy with black folks, y'all hard to get to laugh. <laughs> Hard to get nah, you to laugh. Like, you, you, like you're folding your arms and you're looking at me like I fuck somebody you're friends with. Nah, Thanks. Nah, don't you don't want to laugh right away. I, I don't know nothing about that. I don't it's, know. It's, 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 it's warming the crowd up. It is rough. I went to whatchamacallit one time, Island Taste. Oh, uh, right? It's, um, yeah, it's West Indians. Right. Y'all West Indians? I'm pop little shit. So I'm what Haitian. happened was, listen, I'm hey, my folks I'm from the so. South. What, what, so. what, y- y'all folks are from the island, right? Yes. And so what yeah. happens is when you get an island taste, for some reason, you island folk don't seem to gather around and get together the way that we would <laughs> thought that y'all would have, right? You island folks don't really like one another. And it's all right, because we could be from one project. So it's like regular black folks. Mm-hmm. We from one project, and they from another project. Mm-hmm. We got to whip you on know, each other's ass. Yo, Simple I, shit. I feel you. What part of down south you from? Or you My family's from? from South Carolina, but, you know, we migrate up here. We've been up here. How long you been up here? For a long time, but I've oh. I've been in the military. I was in the navy, so I've been oh, around, really? moved around for a while. You were well. You said you so were you naturally do some, doing you, comedian. You do some clips then. I do some diamond push-ups, right, uh, right. brother. Yes. Respect it. She sized you up. Just now. Respect it. Sized you up. She sized me. She would have did my set this morning. Oh, all right. Nah, I'm capping. Big time. Listen, <laughs> you know. You put you put in your work. Uh, a lot of comedians have done uh, stand up comedy though. Richard Pryor, Cheryl Underwood. So it's not something that's foreign. So mm-hmm. it makes sense. I mean, military is funny anyway. Just that life itself, you know. Wait, Richard Pryor was in the military? I believe so. I believe he's oh, in the what? army. Mm-hmm. Oh, I didn't know that. Okay. That's What's cool. your, um, what was like your toughest crowd? What's your toughest oh, crowd? Oh, shit. Uh, you like, know what? What do you do when you're your toughest crowd? Because when I I had one up there one time, mm-hmm. and oh, I was like, it was, it was. Oh, yeah. look, you, you, you a funny man? My man, listen. I've been this for a little bit. <laughs> yeah. But now I'm saying just that. 
I had my shit prepared. You feel what I'm saying? So oh. I was going all over the place. Right. So it was like, it wasn't hit when it was supposed to hit. You feel what I'm saying? What do you do when you find yourself in that situation where it's like, ah, right, the crowd's dead? Even though your shit could be funny because you could be dead one place and go to another club and niggas love you to death. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? Well, in those instances, you definitely just have to be true to your routine. Um, let's say you're going up there and you haven't, you don't got nothing in your head, right? So my safe space is generics. So, like, whatever's going on in the news. Mm-hmm. So, like, Capitol Hill is my favorite thing to talk about. Right now, Just right? to kind of get people warmed up and stuff. Mm-hmm. Um, a lot of comedians are talking about the pandemic and things like that. So, I just try to find... Um, Outside of the black and white of what the norms, like if comedians are talking about the mask and all that kind of shit, I'm trying mm-hmm. to find the outside of, you know, the other things that are funny. You know what I'm saying? So. How, what do you, um, when you, you ever did a, a show in front of white people before? Yes. How does that go? Like, do you start cutting back on what you really want to say? No, nah, I chop their ass up real good. And Thank you know you. what? <laughs> white <laughs> folk like that when you can do it the right way. You yeah. know what I'm saying? I, I went into a club. It was called like the Grizzly Pair. It's like downtown Brooklyn. Downtown Brooklyn is the haven for white at. folk. They uh-huh. love down there, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And so I did this show. And it was just like a bunch of Michael Douglas motherfuckers sitting around in the crowd. Yeah. And that's what I said. I was like, okay, we got a bunch of Michael Douglas looking motherfuckers yeah. in the house. And all these blazers and stuff. And so they started loosening up. And you know, it... Uh, I've worked with white, of course we've worked with white, yeah, that story, yeah. slavery, I suppose we've worked <laughs> with white folks, but they they like to discuss the uncomfortableness of, you know, the differences within our culture, and I think that even with racism, racism is fucking hilarious, like, mm-hmm. the Capitol Hill shit was hilarious if you just stepped outside of, oh my God, is they trying to get us back in the fields? Mm-hmm. Foolish, idiot shit, and it's just what I go off and I write into, so. You ever been to the Creek in the Crave? Yes, my favorite spot is closed down. I hate that down. spot. Oh, right? Yep. <laughs> you know what? They didn't give me a lot of time anyway on that motherfucker. They don't I give agree you no with time you. And, and they racist in there. Fuck the creek and cave. If you if you heard it first, you heard it here. <laughs> they, and that's that? why you're it's out like, of business it's like a, now. It's like Jackson Heights or something. What the fuck is that yeah, shit? Yeah, it's really like a bougie part yeah, of, like, uh, I don't know. Good, the good Spanish side, right? I don't fucking know. Right. Corona. That area? It's, it's like Long Island City? Yeah, it is. Oh, it's Long Island City. Yeah. Yeah. A lot yeah, of that's the, that's and the, shit yeah, over that's there. City, I remember one time I went up there. It was, it was like a little bit of laughs. Yeah, Somebody, gotta, a white person came one day. It was like, yeah. Before he even said, got crazy, they was laughing. I'm like, y'all niggas is suckers, my nigga. And, I'm, <laughs> and I, you and know I, what? I do something to that confidence, my nigga. I, I was down bad after. I'm like, damn, it's over for me, my nigga. You know what? Comedy will have you check <laughs> you know, your you vulnerability. You was really out here doing yeah, comedy. Yeah, I was doing dolo. Though. I wasn't, yeah. wasn't bringing nobody. <laughs> I'm trying to work on my crib. I wasn't bringing nobody. Yeah, you was pulling up. I, I, Randomly I just nah, nah, walking you, you, up. You could do like open mics. Yeah, open mics. And tonight we got. And that's always. <laughs> but you said so. You bombed the open mics. <laughs> Yo, Man. got new coming to the stage. Nah, coming up tonight. I was, I was like, you know what? What? So chill him. That's also I started hitting up JJ up like, "Yo, where you going? We gonna be at?" But yeah, but these comedy shows always at a fucking JJ? time. Nah, it's a friend. So oh, she oh, do comedy. She oh, do comedy yeah, too. The you these up, comedy yeah. niggas always do shows when they, when I gotta be at work, my nigga. 8 p.m. Thursdays and yeah, Wednesdays. Yeah, always you these have awkward nights. Nah, I was trying to. Like, my nigga, I, yo, it's these non-employed nights. I had, I, I, I had, no, one, I, I had one good night, son. One great night at Why Essence Why you never told niggas to pull up? Nigga, I'm, I'm, I'm working. Why you never told them why you pull up? That's nah, what I, nah, We don't nah. want no support? I, no, no. It's, I, <laughs> nah, I was like, I'm about Kyrie Irving shit. You yo, know what I'm like, I, I, yo, I never... Away a little bit. Look you what had to happen for me to find this out. That's crazy. <laughs> Stand up comedy. You be doing stand up comedy on the... So what made you feel like you wanted to give it a shot? Nah, that's why. I mean... I've been funny for a minute. You know what I'm saying? But it's, it's different when you have a conversation will be funny and then you stand up and do it. You know what I'm saying? Like, mm-hmm. I just got to work on my storytelling. You know it's delivery. It's your, com- you know, the crowd is like a dog. So essentially when I step on stage, it's harder for females, you know, especially if you look cute or whatever. You know, it's just the physical form of it. It's just you mm-hmm. can already feel if they're going to let you in or not. And me, I just come and, you know, I don't know. I'm, I just know how to break the ice, if you will. So okay. I'll just be like, yo, unclench your asses, unfold your arms. Like, we're not going to do that. Or, yeah. you know, I kind of address what I feel like the, the elephant in you the room the is. Tone. Right. And we'll go in ahead and move forward with that. So, I mean, shit. I mean, listen, I've been getting bullied all my life, popping shit, <laughs> hopping fences. You know what I'm saying? So, at the end of the day, I yeah. said, you know, we got to take this shit to the stage. So, and, always and have been, a joke, bitches. Always you, 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 you bitches know who you is too. Threatening to beat my ass all the time when I had something funny to say about you and your man. So you know I'm on stage with it now. As you should. And how how's that with 
And I'm, some Other bitches people. that don't like me have come to my show, you know, and that's even more. You know, I got to get up out of here. Off I got your to get invite my jokes. Or randomly, you're like, oh shit. Yeah, no, like, no, that from... bitch is. Yeah, 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 yeah. That shorty knows on my and ass. the producer has let me know, like, yo, am you, everything all right in here tonight? And I'm like, why? What's up? You know what I'm saying? What you got going on? He said, hey, the table over at the right said they're going to catch you after the show. Yo, so. Yeah, they remember you. You know, that's I said, shit. look, pay me out, pay me out right now, cash me out. I got to be to work in the morning. I'm, I'm too old to be fighting this shit, but I will pop this shit. So you that's what, what it's gonna happen. Do. How do you, I just want to ask you, right? I'm glad you're a com- comedian. I want to ask you, how do you feel about people saying like they're not feeling Kevin Hart like that? Now, all of a sudden, he's dry. Like they forget what he has done. Um, mm, I feel like you've tailored the answer for me already because I'm not a fan of Kevin Hart. Mm. So I don't uh, mind the demise that is happening to him right Why now. Why is that? Just asking because I don't feel like he's really given... When you're talking about comedy... Um, okay, so... All right, so the culture that is like black culture, right? So mm-hmm. he has definitely contributed to black culture. Mm, but when absolutely. we talk about comedy, he's not it's super flops. All his movies are flops. He has no outstanding stand-ups. His last stand-up was bullshit. I mean, he's how many times... With the one in the house? All of them shits, yeah, right. Yeah, I just... Yeah, you, I, there's no one... I, mean, I think his first one was... What's uh, the name I, of it? You know what's real? Remember. Right, see? <laughs> yeah. So when we talk about Isn't legends... Called, no fucks Is it Laugh at My Pain? It's called No Fucks Given. That's the bomb. There's one called Laugh at My Pain, right? No, nah, Laugh at My huh? Pain is the first one. Kill, Who's buddy? that? That's him. What? This is what happens no, when you're a bad comedian. Nobody knows yeah, your shit. The, the last one. That wasn't his last one. No, I said there was one oh, called yeah, yeah. Last I When said, I that's do comedy, the one I, I hope that funny. they know my shit. No, that's the know? one I thought was funny. But yeah, I don't I don't know. I, 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 do I, 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 don't, I don't So appreciate Kevin black Hart is the thrashing. male version of Tiffany Haddish. Uh, yeah, right? I'm with you on so, Tiffany Haddish. I don't think she's funny. Right? I don't think she's funny. So like... Kevin Hart Keeping is like, you know, you always got that funny guy in the hood. Like, yo, he's funny. Like, yo, when we how we drunk, you know, you see Kevin on the corner. He going to crack us up for I feel like Kevin is that type of funny, and that just worked for him. When Kevin first came out, it was all about hip-hop jokes and jokes on rappers mm-hmm. and all that stupid shit. He was in the movies. Who can't do yeah, that? You know what I mean? Right. Yeah. So who can't do that? You could do that. Like, Tiffany Haddish, I, I could have done Girls Trip. It, it wouldn't have been hard to play a ratchet chick. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. And so when you're talking about contributing to Especially when comedy you are ratchet. and, uh, <laughs> right. So for nah, certain nah, roles, for real, for when certain you have to pop act like Bishop, it's like it's not that far of a stretch. Or Queen Latifah, Queen Latifah as Cleo, it's not that far of a stretch, right? Mm-hmm. So when you're talking about comedians, you know what I mean? He just don't move me. He just don't. So... At the end of you the day, you feel it was always like that. I'm probably or, never gonna get no real work, but <laughs> no, that's got to be true to me. Got to be true. Do you feel? They thrash him too do much you much. feel it gradually went that way, or you think it was always like that off rip? I mean, shit. Soul Plane would have been a flop if it didn't have all them hyped up, you know, black celebs I mean, it in was, there. It was still a flop. BG right. Just keeps so that shit all his shit Honestly. is just like complete <laughs> like, overhyped. You know, he's the white man's jester, and it works, you know. I thought he's funny for them. was funny. I thought that one was funny. Yeah. That's, yeah. that's you, after you, that, you I know, ain't gonna you know, you know, I, you know what my I wife said? is like, she's like, yo, he probably is the chosen one because he's not intimidating to white people. No, he's, he's sure. cool with them. He can, you get just, what I'm saying? Maybe like, more now, in. lately, you know, he take his stance with regard to homosexuality. He takes his stance with regard to racism. These are things that you weren't really hearing out of him when he first was, you know, you mm-hmm. got to tread that, you got to tread that water. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But now I'm tread water. This is why I'm still in the hood, stealing out of CVS, yeah. working my government <laughs> job. You niggas ain't calling me back after sex. Yeah. And yeah. that's my life. You understand? That's what's happening. So, I feel what, you what, so that. what comedians do you like listen to? Uh, do you okay. like Bill Burr? Do you like... I mean, I appreciate individuals like Bill Burr, right? But for me, they have to still stay at a certain uh, area in a certain circle. Dave you. Chappelle just popped up with uh, uh, COVID. You see that? No. And they said, well, Dave Chappelle's been taking COVID tests every day. How could this happen? I said, yeah, because... In the day, he's being safe, and in the night, he's saved all these crackers, and we mm-hmm. know that the crackers have the COVID. Mm-hmm. They have it. They're hacking the shit in your face. Mm-hmm. So, of course, he's got the COVID. And, you know, I love Dave Chappelle. I'm into physical comedy, so Tracy Allman, I dated myself. You know you know Tracy Allman? You remember Tracy Allman from HBO? <laughs> yeah, the show, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. This guy was like, oh, let me see your hands, bitch. You old. Who Tracy Allman? Who you know? <laughs> 
So yeah, <laughs> she does impersonation. So I like to do. I feel like I know that name though. You you do. She's yeah. she's a G. Um, uh, Ellen Cleghorn. This is like some of the first black women on Saturday Night Live. Like these mm-hmm. women are super huge to me. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Like if I've ever given the opportunity, those are the women that I would love to pay homage to. Okay. Not That's, some more. Not not a not a black woman. No. Uh, the again, um, because I study comedy, I kind of have sees it know these characters mm-hmm. and these personalities. So, you know, th- these are sisters that stick in their stilettos up each other's asses. And that's fine, too, right? Mm-hmm. So Moore is definitely, uh, uh, she's paved the way, right? Yeah. But I ain't really trying to go that way. I don't yeah. want to go that way. Is there a lot of hate in that game? Oh, shit. Yes. From, from, other, from other females. I mean, period, even when Cheryl, what's her name? Cheryl Underwood. Underwood. Yeah. And she got that 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 look on the show with all them white women in the morning. Oh, them the other hoes was mad like that? about that shit, huh? Yeah. The viewer, right? yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah they yeah, was calling yeah, yeah. her ugly and who want to see her big gums mm. all in the morning and shit? <laughs> they was fucking her up. They cooked her. And I said, you know, they're going, you know, listen, I've been called a Wanda Sykes looking bitch and I take it. You understand why? Because <laughs> yeah. that bitch is successful. Yeah. You understand? Yeah. You just hit it with the voice me. too a little. It sounded like Sometimes this. I get that. Yeah. And so it gets me in comedy clubs or sometimes it gets me thrown out. It, mm-hmm. Either way it works, it's fine. It's fine. I've been able to say I'm related to Paul Mooney sometimes too. I get a little <laughs> bit of Paul Mooney in my face. It's all right. We all black. Yeah. We live together. You know what's crazy? Yeah, I think she's crazy. Like number one. Son. Wanda Sykes? Who? Oh, Paul. Paul Moon. Yeah. And this is what I'm saying. I go for the he, OG. He wrote for a lot of the, the yes. people nah, he, he we he talk about. He shit. You listen to it now. He be like. Didn't he write for Richard too? He will crumble a crowd of crackers up and they will sit and take it mm-hmm. because everything he's saying is well put together. It's mm-hmm. honest. And you know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? It's it's mm-hmm. nothing that you can be like, that's bullshit. He's it's sick, malarkey. Right? Well, no, it's facts. He not, he not, I don't know where he at now, son. I really don't he's know surviving doing. right now. He's damn near about to be 80, up out right? of here. He getting ready to check up out of here. I don't yeah, know if he's I, eating he his ass up or something. Or something, like that. Oh, yeah. something about fucking Richard Pryor's son or some shit. Hit, word, hit the word. Hit the streets. I, I was like, wait. What? That, the Hollywood that dude. I, that. I ain't yeah, getting I on that like, couch. Nah, hell no. Yeah, I ain't yeah. Wanda Dyke and a Wanda Psych and shit. Yeah. <laughs> but I'm like, no. Nah, that, no. That, that, yeah. that, that can't be true. I mean, I hope it's not true. Why can't it be? Anything can be true. Richard Pryor say something to dick. Richard or Paul Mooney? Richard said he did. Richard I that say he Richard Pryor said he was on drugs. Sucked a dick on that him. He was on cocaine. And nah, that had to been in the skit or something. Sir, Bro, no, he was dead he ass serious. He, he nibbled on the dick I, and yeah. he nibbled on it. He said he did say it like in the skit, but he said he was dead ass. A lot ever, of those men yeah. in that time How in the jungle. Remember they said he was with what's his name? Um, yeah, Mama he Brando. fucked. That's right. He fucked that fine white man too. Mama Fucking Brando. fine white man too. Yeah, man. That's, Incredible. Incredible. Yes, listen, a lot of them guys was getting down like that. Martin Luther King, you know, in fact, Martin Luther wait, King. Wait, what? <coughs> when Martin Hold Luther on. King birthday passed, listen, a lot of people give me a hard time when I try to give y'all these facts about our community and culture we Yo. come from. Yo. Martin Luther the King was in orgies and having sex with Aretha Franklin and her families and shit. You, 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 you check out her autobiography. Martin Luther King was getting his dick sucked before that I Have a Dream speech. By who, real no- though? Listen, I can't reveal no name. <laughs> no, 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 no. Female. Yes, by woman. Oh, not because we was on. We going on like we was on some talking about two guys. So well, you never know. Then, you then, never then, know. Well, oh, oh, oh. Nah, they, there's a yo. There's a doc out right now. MLK slash FBI, where they talking about they killed him, man. Right? Like the recordings and all that shit. A well, lot and, of riff rap going on, on with him these was about uh, him important folks. Martin Luther King, right? Yeah. Freak smoking weed, getting his dick oh, sucked yeah, right yeah. before. Right? Can you imagine? You get your child up and say, "Hey, say that I have a dream speech," <laughs> only to find out it's some shit he came up after uh, getting his dick sucked on. I mean, <laughs> motivation. I have a dream. I had a nut. Is what the fuck? That's the dream. <laughs> Just watch. Uh, Free at last. I you know guess. Right? When is your next show? You know what? With uh, COVID oh, no. going right on, la it's la, a right? lot of. Uh, Yo, you look like you looking for work. <laughs> you trying to nah, find out the spots nah, to nah, go? You know what it is? I'm gonna get, nah, real talk. I'm gonna get back. Yeah, <laughs> what? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm just, no, no, I, no, I know the spots. Yeah. I know the spots. But I said the only thing that's going on right now. Yo, Long, Long Island. Island. Long, Island. Long Island. Long Island. Like, yo, yo, where you be going? <laughs> Long Island is open. You be at? They have no yo, real man COVID crazy, mandates, yo. so a lot of shows. Yo, are don't happening. tell him nothing. He's trying to find out. You gonna start seeing him a lot of places. Do you know Why? any guy comedians? Yo, that's crazy. Um, just Joe, Joe Show. Who else? Shout out to Joe Show. 
Oh, you know Joe Show gave me a chance. He's a heavy headed brother. That brother's head is heavy, ain't he? Head is big as hell, <laughs> I mean, right? Like <laughs> he got to put that mullet shit on his shoulders and got to get up every morning head. with that head. <laughs> <laughs> shit. Hey, Joe now, Show, you're but, killing but, but, yourself but, but, out here every day. Joe, Joe is mad funny. You know what I'm saying? He's a, a great host. You know what I'm saying? Yes. I'm saying. <laughs> what? Not? Yes. I don't know what y'all saying. <laughs> he's a he's a he's a he's a, he's, he's, he, he, he's a good host, son. For real, like a legendary okay. host. Like I would have to make a host anyway. He gets your booking. Shout out. He gets them West Indian <laughs> girls fighting too. You know that. He be like, who shit? Who won the best? The Jamaicans or the Haitians? They oh, get to the fucking each other up. Right. And I say, I gotta get out of here, boy. Check. Trinity daddy and girls get to fucking each other up over that wine. You, you ever mm. did what's that shit? Laffy Taffy, laugh, not Laffy Taffy. Nigga said laugh, laugh. That shit on, on Laugh on, Factory. No, in Lindenwood Diner when they be standing on top of the table. Yeah, no, I haven't made it to the table yet. But you had to go to Harlem on Mondays, right, to get that spot, right? Yo, what uh, is you, yeah? What you the, really no. trying to? I didn't know I was coming up here to get shaked down yeah, for sure. No, 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 it's always like a good so then after healthy that, 70 you know saying, comedians you waiting to, to get on. With Dino on top of the <laughs> table. Then you go to Harlem Nights. Um, Harlem Nights. If you really, you know, I always tell people, go for it, man. Well, I love yeah. comedy. It ain't over. I didn't. I knew shit was funny. Me, I, shit, I just found out it began, <laughs> now, so it ain't over. Like, I just, what? Nah, I just found over. out it started just now, uh, so it nah, ain't, like, you know, ain't I, over. I don't give that. I ain't really tell nobody that like that. You know what I'm saying? Because I wanted to be all right first, then be all right, come through. But I ain't, I ain't get to that level but yet. The, nah, but but, but no, it's the vulnerability shit. of just, you got to bomb sometimes, even in front of your friends, to find out who your friends are. Are your friends going to pat you on your back after you come off stage from bombing? Or are no. they going to go catch you on your phone <laughs> and post the shit on Facebook yeah. or some shit? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So well, My friends just tried to do that to me. <laughs> those things. Y'all are rappers? Nah, nah. I mean, nah, I, 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 I spit. I mean. Yeah, what do y'all, somebody give me rap scam? What nah, you got going on? Nah, nah, nah. 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 You, Actually, you know I'm a podcast host. I do. <laughs> I'm a podcast. He, he, host. That's he all raps. I do. You know what I'm saying that's all I do. But I'm a podcast. Host. I, I'm having. I'm gonna have a EP come out this year. It's called the Trappumentary. You know what What's an EP? Six song. Thank you. Yeah, you was looking for that answer. <laughs> like, oh, something, yeah, like, oh, little, I love uh, the black man. Black man finally answered the fucking thing. Well, I said, but well, what is that? I want to know this. I, I, I told myself me. before I die, I want to. I want to do one now. I don't care if it's good or bad. I'm gonna fuck for you, for, right? For myself, and that's right. how I feel music? with comedy. Yeah. Yeah. So get the stew. I got I got two songs out already. Not out, but I got a. Well, you have music it. out too. <laughs> nah. I say, yo, you come to my crazy. show. I'm gonna perform this first. I'm gonna do my crazy. album first, yo, and then <laughs> I'm gonna tell my crazy. jokes. Oh, God, you Buy crazy. tickets I, for I, I both of my shit. Listen, nah, listen, listen. Nah, I, did this two, I, did this, I did these two songs five years ago. You have music out and you're a comedian. <laughs> what, what don't you do? So what? What, what do you go by? What's your name? It's J C the Light. J C the Light. Okay. I'm saying, but <laughs> yo, <laughs> nah, really, I gotta, I gotta albums. retouch it though. I'm, I'm, I'm still learning. Like, it's just doing shit on your own is not. So, what easy. kind of rapping you singing and rapping? I don't like that. I don't like that singing rap shit. No, oh, you not on that Drizzy. You, you doing that? that? No, nah, I rap. You rap. rapping right? I, I, I Snatch actually, your grandma's actually, purse, shit. I actually was in a group with Ox. That's oh. why I, I mentioned. That's Ox. why you got the cup gold. I see what's happening. No, yeah, I, no, no, some remnants of the good Look, times. Yeah, you know I mean, uh, I'm chilling. <laughs> I'm telling you, I don't got nothing going on. I don't know nothing about nothing. Yeah, mm -hmm. I know. <laughs> it's good. I like it. So what you said your rap name is? Landlord. Landlord and See the Light. J.C. the Light. Oh, the she's light. like um, Webby on um, the Shark of Man, the, the, the God. She's getting the names wrong. No, my bad. I mean, no, this is we're new like, and yeah, we're yeah, learning. Yeah, yeah. I want to absorb what I'm being told yeah. so I can. So you said there's shop. definitely hating over there. In comedy? Yeah. Listen, everything is in uh everything is a uh, competition, right? Mm -hmm. So, uh funny story. Um I did a show not too long ago and you always know if you're good when you get picked close to last, right? Okay. So, when somebody say you up first, it's like, oh shit. You know what I mean? And depending on who all's there, if you feel like you're better than this person, mm -hmm. and they make you go before them, some people will have a bit of a funk about the shit, right? Mm -hmm. So this particular show, and I'm very fluid. I don't care. Put me up first because yeah, I I rather you learn 
not to do that again, right? Mm -hmm. So a bitch had to learn. And we were there chilling, and they gave us the lineup, and Shorty went over to the side like, you know, that's not going to work. You know, Mm. she need to go first or before me. Mm. Go up there, light it up. Like, you know what? And I don't even do open mics. Some comedians, a lot of us, uh, you know, a lot of us don't really even do that uh, open mic shit. You know, you just go home and you study your shit. The mirror's been my trainer more than anything. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? So I go up there and it's just like I'm in front of my, you know, my mirror. I may make a little bit of eye contact and I rock my shit. And she bombed. And you got to learn. Sometimes you got to learn that just because you've been in comedy for 10 years, no. my 10 minutes is still smoke your ass. Yeah. So that's how it goes. You know, so even if you said you wanted to start yesterday and, you know, you, you get a show next week and you're working with somebody who's been in it for 20 years. Don't let that intimidate you because you might go on stage and set that shit off. Out. That's dope. No. That's dope. That's dope. That's Always dope. competitive. I thought it was a lot of support in that game. I ain't know that. I mean, well, there. you know, the, the men the are supportive. Tonight, the, young people. The, the male comedian is very supportive. They want to work with you late at night. Um, <laughs> they want to help you get home if you need a ride uh-huh, home. Uh-huh. Um, you know, a lot of Bill Cosby shit going on with the oh, male comedians. Yeah. Male comedians, do better. Do better. Stop fucking on <laughs> us and trying to fuck on us. None of the male comedians try to mess with you? I mean, it's a, you know, it's just like, you know, when you hear actors working on a movie and then they start fucking, so I guess it's, you know, shit like that. Yeah. So, so, you, so. No, I'm not fucking any comedians. So, yeah. No, I'm not. A lot of them don't dress well, and a lot of them are married, you know, for some reason. I don't know what that's about. Mm. They, they do it. Do anything to get out the house, probably, right? I don't know what that married shit is about, man, but I stay away from it. So, okay. how you feel about what we got going on? We got a new president, new year. You think we excited? Biden, you know, the 2000 went to 1400 real quick. So his squinty eye ass is on the bad side of me right now. You know, I'm going to keep it real with you. I voted I for Trump. I ain't shit yet, too. So I, I voted for Trump. Voted for and Trump. I want to say that, honestly, if I look right here in the camera here, yes, yes, I yes. wanted to say that I did see some cheating happening. And I'm afraid to say something. I know that these colored folks would shred my ass up if I would have came forward and said something. And I say that so I you did saw some vote. Cheating. I did see some cheating, and, and I minded my business, you see. <laughs> and I did try to check to see if my vote had counted those numbers they gave you. And mm-hmm. all this was like, boo, boo, boo. So I don't know yeah, what well, happened. I think did. they stole Trump vote, man. Nah, ain't nobody stole I'm nothing. here to say that, that accurate. man. I'm here to say that, you know, we never know. We never know. Mm-hmm. I don't like what they did at the Capitol Hill, though. Fucking on that, humping those Ronald Reagan statues and shit. You seen what? that? Nah, you see that? What? Got to have some respect. They, they, they OD'd on that. What do you mean, recently or that Capitol Hill? Oh, oh, yeah, yeah. They yeah. was in there smoking I mean, weed and humping let, up on them dead that. statues. Nah, y'all can't do that. No. And that's us, what made us, me feel like shit as a black person. That's why I've been stealing as much as I can in these you, convenience stores. You're doing your little sure. lo, lo, low key. Um, They're not going to give us reparations. So you, yeah, you got to yeah, steal you gotta, and you got to you try to get as much as you can. You know I mean, proper They said if they did give us reparations, we would get like, I think, like 300000 a person. I take it. What? If we're supposed to give reparations? Nah, we're supposed to get so like I'm Haitian. Haitian. They ain't going to give it to me. No, nah, they're not. They're not going to give it to me. You got to take it. You got to be American soil. You got to. Nah. Oh, no, Warren? he doesn't have direct so. lineage to his descendants and our slaves in this country. <laughs> Hold on, I now you don't put these motherfuckers in I don't know. She could check. be joking, but I really I'm think serious. She's you have she... to have direct lineage yeah, to your from, your from ancestors here. have to be slaves no, in this that's country. It. I, I believe so that. So unfortunately, this brother, although we the same skull and skin, yeah, yes, uh, brother, you wouldn't be getting no but check. You could, Where you you could you help from? me out. You know what I'm saying? Look, Where your fat? Look, 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 look. Now Allen is be trying to figure out. Like, no, me from the Bronx. Like, no, yeah, nah. motherfucker. You yeah. ass is from. Nah, hey. my fa- nah, my father, I'm Haitian. My <laughs> me father Me family Haitian. from, yeah. My mom's is from here. But yeah. Nah. Half and half. The 50, mama 50 gets pack, something. 50,000. I'm going to get it. What you mean? You ain't getting no 300 minutes from nobody, man. Listen, nah, that's a fact. it's not even going to get passed anyway. So I don't even know that's what we're talking about. That's the about. problem that, that I want to confront, you know that I mean? we need to put reparations up forth in front. If we can see white men going to these important uh, municipal buildings and do all this kind of fuck shit, it, mm-hmm. it, it has. And people want to, you know, for me, Trump may have been bad socially, but he helped you if you was if you're black and you had your eyes open. He showed you so much, right? Mm-hmm. You got to see so many closeted racists at such a That's high a such a high level. Um, I know how to work these things. <laughs> you tell me, <laughs> I'm not new to this. Oh, okay. uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> But yeah, so I really appreciated it, and I, I just what, what I worry about with Biden and uh, Harris mm-hmm. is that they will 
begin to put pull the veil back over racism that we get to see right forth. Oh, and you fight. think they'll start? Oh yeah, yeah. We won't. It's, it's going to hug the white man. You see him, right? Right. Right. Open the door. Right. Right. You know, and for me, shoes. if you have white <laughs> friends, you know, I had so many of my white friends were like, you know, because we're not like that. You know, those Capitol Hill people. And I said, you lying. Some of your cousins is up there. Don't lie. That's a fact. Some of your family's up That's there. A fact. Don't lie. So it's like. It just makes it more important, and when you see people who are political figures, high-ranking political figures, it's like you can't tell us to, if, if it's them doing racist shit. You telling me the cops ain't running wild too? You feel me? You know what I'm saying? So yeah, that's real. I hate to get serious, but those are the things that I, I do take to stage as well. So I try mm-hmm. to do thought-provoking comedy. And I don't you, go up okay. there and just be like suck a wet dick or some yeah, dumb yeah, shit. Yeah, yeah, I like yeah. to tell jokes that you can go home and really think about. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. And, so you I like so you that. like Dave Chappelle. You have to. I definitely I love, love Dave, Dave Chappelle. Do you like Chris Rock? I'm not. Dave I don't know, man. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. Um, I do. I like, I like Chris Rock. Uh, he's touch and go. He's just done some things off camera that I'm just like, nah, fam. I can't really. I don't want it. Oh, off cam. Oh, okay. Yeah, Jerry Seinfeld. He was on a show and they were talking about the N word, and he was just like, "I don't give a fuck." You know, white guys can say it. Yeah, oh, I'm yeah, cool. I think I, I did like, see that. Cool, that was on bro. HBO. Like, I ain't uh, right? right? Yeah, yeah but that, that could be part of comedy too, though. Nah, they was nah, having they, a serious it was ass like conversation. A, a comedian's lounge, like they having a serious talk. I think one dude on that same episode got in trouble. He yeah, was wilding. It's the, yeah, it's the guy who everybody's scared to say his name. What's his name? And he's like this perverted guy. Yeah, yeah, he's got red hair and he's like jerked off. He's done some yeah, real nasty shit. But a lot of comedians shit. still fuck with him. You know, I guess he's really talented. He's just really like perverted yeah, and but shit. He, he, he caught what, some, what did he do? Who's this person? He's like he, jerking he, off and making, you know, just jerking off he's a lot. Some huh? dude. Yeah, yeah. I, I think Kevin Hart was, um, was staying with him at a time too and caught him jerking off. But that's not even what. He said some wild shit on that, on that show. That had right, everybody going was, crazy. In, in I forgot. To his kids yeah, or something. son, like that. Yeah, yeah. He said some wild shit. I mean, and he got in white trouble. People say what shit. they want and come back like nothing happened. Uh, I worry. You know, comedians, period, always have like this tortured, it's like tortured life, and that's where the talent comes from. Mm. So I'm scared, man. I don't know if it's going to be cocaine. What's it going to be for me? You know what I mean? <laughs> like, what is going to take me down and bring me up? <laughs> I don't what's, know. What's that lady named Leslie Smalls? She's mad tall. Leslie Jones. Leslie Jones, yeah. the one from Saturday Night Live, right? Yeah, the one who be beastie talking. black lady. Yeah, you don't like yeah. Not, not physically. She, she be representing for the for the for the, for for the, the culture Dica, for the Dicaronis? For the no, NBA, I'm for talking the about size for the twelve culture. sneaker wearing hoes. She represents for them long hood bitches. She, she do a lot of like the producing. man ass having hoes, no hip sharp hip having hoes. She she was she produces a lot now. I bet you we won't hear shit out of her with all of that too, because them white people put her on. Let's see. This is what I always tell people when they say, Abby, you got to stop doing that. Stop trying to do this and do that. And I say, look, I'm not looking for the white man to put me on. I'm not looking for Caroline's. I went to Caroline's when I was 18 years old, and the owner then there told me, you're way too cute. Nobody's going to take you serious. And so what? from that day, I was just like, I'm never going to come back here. Yeah, and my thing is, I know comedians who live very well off of the community just supporting them and coming mm-hmm, out to see their mm-hmm. shows. And yeah, if that's how will. I have to survive, then that's how I have to it survive. Is, I'm, is, yeah. I don't have to get picked for NBC. You know what I'm saying? I can. The I same way. Say, did Issa you ever Ray, audition for something like that? Uh, I now for, for some reason. Live? For some reason now my emails is kind of jumping off. I don't know what mm-hmm. I did, but for some reason you know people want me to like show up for show certain up shit. Some, oh, so, so I'm excited. You pull up on set. You about to be some on that? Sets, some sets. Okay, some sets. Okay. 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 All right. All right. All right. What do you do with the? J- yeah, that was Kevin Hart. Nervous jitters. <laughs> Me stupid. <laughs> What do you mean? I mean, it's always, I think it's good. I'm always nervous before a show or before I take to stage. You have to. I mm. feel like the day that I'll be comfortable and I don't feel, I'll lose it. I, mm. I won't, I won't. There's this proof, there's this proof I have to prove when I get on stage. Everybody's looking at me, you know what I mean? I have to kill. So the nerves keep me on my game. Like, bitch, you better get out here and you best kill. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? As What's the longest set you ever did? Getting up there. Right now, I'm at 15 minutes. With the pandemic, I mean, this is two and a half years for me. Okay. And then the pandemic hit. Mm-hmm. So it's mad hard, right? So Ooh La La taught me. I was like, damn, I'm spoiled. Like, I haven't had to fight a crowd in a long time. So that was cute and everything, and I still held it down or whatever. But it's not my favorite thing to do to be battling the crowd to be quiet mm-hmm. or drunk bitches that are happy because they're fat and they've got money in their wallets. <laughs> I'm sick of that, but you got to, I guess this is the path, you know, you got to get your stripes in and shit, yeah. so. 
Man, that's what's up, though. I like that. I like that. She, that's good. I like that she's getting into that, that, you know, like that next stage. Like you said, emails are coming in now and things like. You know that. what? I'm still in. I'm still trying to finish my law degree in St. John's, so I'm not oh, really well, even oh, pushing. Oh, so you got a lot going on. I'm trying. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So I'm not really even. I've shut so many. I've like kind of like told like no I'm good because I really want to my first thing is just finishing school do I still do shows you goddamn right if somebody hit me up like yo blah 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 I'm gonna be there if I can be there but my main thing right now is just really trying to get this law degree under my belt that's what's up so, so you, when you get the law degree under your belt you rapping comedy yet? no you, okay so what's the goal with the law degree gonna I mean well shit I love contracts right and entertainment is mm. contracts oh you're going for entertainment law um that's where the pivot is now. Yeah, okay. But I've always, obviously, being black in this country, I've always, obviously, been uh, interested in like political science and you know social injustice. Uh, not gonna be doing criminal law. No, too many of y'all fucked mm-hmm. on too many of y'all. So mm-hmm. that's uh, a fact. Ain't gonna work out. But um, what yeah, had you in the military? Huh? What had you in the military? My family, you know, everybody. I'm a brat, so oh, okay. my parents, their parents, everybody, mm-hmm. parents. And if you, you know, Laurelton, somebody always was in the military. Mm-hmm. Very blue collar folks yeah, yeah, over there, okay. post office, bus drivers type. Oh, okay, motherfuckers. okay, okay, okay. Now, because I see the way you you go about, like you know, standing for the black community and everything. So hearing you into military, usually because mm-hmm. that was like a a thing back then, like. Okay, so the stigma, definitely like, oh, was yeah, confronted. Why with, would you protect this country? Why would you fight? Well, them? If they don't, they don't care about us. And they you know what I mean? Your grandparents yeah, your great you know things like that. How dare you serve for this country? Yeah, you know what I'm saying. But well, uh, I read this story because I was conflicted with the same issues, and I had read this story regarding the first 13 members who joined the Navy. They were black. And they're oh. called the Golden 13. Mm-hmm. And they thought that representation was very much important in this country. Mm-hmm. And unfortunately, yeah, my ancestors have been hung in uniform um, from coming from defending. Not my, you know, not that I have specific yeah, detail, yeah, yeah, but, but yes, you know what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah. That is fucked up. Yeah. But I own my home today. You know what I'm saying? And so I have, gener- I have generational wealth because yeah. of, I didn't even have to. My grand, you know, my ancestors have paved the way for me anyway. Mm-hmm. Luckily, you no, know, you know, I didn't smoke crack. You know, people in Laurelton <laughs> smoking crack fucking their goddamn family house yeah, up and shit. Yeah. But, you know, I've I done the right thing, so I kept the shit. Mm-hmm. And, you know, th- that was really the main thing. I think that black people just wanted to find a way and show that, you know, we'll work for ours. And, you know, I have that same mentality. I just don't play along the lines. Like, I'm not finna skip with no white folks. But I will show them that I have the same tenacity and the same smarts and the same goal to go get as them. You know what I'm okay. saying? So. I got you. I got, you been in combat and all that? Yeah, man. Shot a few guns. We did some swimming and shit. We jumped over a few <laughs> ships. It was fun. I had a good time. What? What? Yeah. 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 I met That's white people. That ne- I met white bitches that never seen black people. Like we got to fight naked in the shower because a bitch touched me. Like we, it, it, I, I'm cool with these. Yo, <laughs> shout out to Raven. Listen, we, I, I, I got some Raven friends. Simone. Nah, nah, nah. My home girl from Maryland, and we <laughs> was in the showers, and you know we got we got into some shit with some white work. bitches. <laughs> yeah, because you know they they had not seen us, if you will. So you know they was just like, oh, you know, I think oh, we were they, just. Touching yeah, your we body because they never we were, seen right, and some we, drugs we were, or something before. We was getting ready to um, graduate. Is she real? <laughs> right. And so it got it got, it got the nah. rocket. Nah. It's crazy, man. Just like that? You're like, yo, what the fuck is you doing? Yeah, man. Uh, yeah, that's crazy. That's wild. That's wild. So the that's white wild. girls. But I never knew Washington was a state. So you learn a lot. I had no idea Washington was his own state. I was like, not D.C.? And they was like, oh, yeah. no, Seattle, Largo, right? you idiot. Uh, who knows? Listen, you... When you're from New York, you learn a lot. I, people, they, I, I really had to own that New York thing. New York is it. Like, I, I was yeah. like, really? Washington is a style? Pish posh. New York, you know? <laughs> so it was all good. Um, I met a lot of folks from Texas in there. They love serving the military. Mm-hmm. Longhorn motherfuckers. Oh, I actually boy. love Texas that's now, too. Of- so it's funny. Shooting a nigga down. Texas? That's 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 that people live in Houston. Yeah, and they shooting back. So right, I'm I'm ready to get to Texas because they shooting back. We in New York, we can't shoot back. So it's bad. Did you see the crackers over there getting all them guns off of Nassau Coliseum? Did you see them lined up and shit? Where? (laughs) Yeah. 
Yeah, they ready. They ready. Oh, they no. wait for y'all. They wait. Oh, they what ready. happened? <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. When um when all the riots and all the shit had first started, uh, and we seen them fuck up the city like that and get all that good Balenciaga and all them mm, Dior bags. Yeah, and all that. Me and my friends took a little ride out to Roosevelt Field Mall. Mm-hmm. You, yes, got the hit, you got the call too to, go, to come meet in the, mall, in the parking lot? Nemans? Listen me. Yeah, I was and ready they, to go up They had Nemans? them officers in tan uniforms. I've never seen cops in tan. I said, what kind of cops is these? <laughs> they, they, these cops, yeah, they, gonna, they, <laughs> they, they had gonna, some gonna, tan shits on they, and bigger they, they, big they, guns. They're going to protect their brand. I said, shit, I'll be goddamn. We went to Manhattan. They had all that shit boarded up and everything. Mm. Yeah, I said, this is Nemans. racist. How they going to pre-prepare <laughs> they going to- <laughs> for a nigga to come and steal? You, you let me steal. Here's my Worry thing. About it later. Until you white folks can show me a receipt for me or any of my ancestors, y'all need to let me steal and pillage this motherfucking country till I'm done and full. You understand? <laughs> Cause I ain't seen no receipt for now one of these colored asses in this country. Right. You always bother me telling me about I didn't pay for some shit and you want to go in my bag and see if I paid for it. Exactly. <laughs> what did you? My oh. ancestors for a long time have been paying for shit in this goddamn country. Nah, we have though, son. How, oh, how did you? Man. Was you upset when when they when all the black people were stealing from Fifth Ave allegedly? No. No, I, I thought they should have stole more. I was upset when I heard Coons talking about you. You destroying the property <laughs> and you killing the curtains. And I said they strangle your black ass with the curtains. You know what I was offended of when people were dancing and celebrating on Black Lives Matter in Harlem. They were skipping over the letters and shit. Mm. And I was like, cops will shoot you right dead, right there. Shoot you dead right on that letter, mm. right there. Yeah. We need the reparations. That. I'm tired of food stamps. Three hundred eighty-seven dollars a month. Not doing it, guys. Now, nah, but they, 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 they we got an extendo <laughs> clip on it though. What? Who said? Yeah. Because I don't want no fucking stuff. luxury <laughs> food stamps. Gotta get involved, man. <laughs> I don't want luxury. Listen, yo, get involved. Yo, man. Yo, y'all are crazy. Y'all are crazy. This guy. Only one store doesn't have that sandwich. This this guy, all these stores got it. Yeah, man. I want to fight. Talents. I want to fight for bringing pork back. I feel like as my family come from the south, we eat pork, and a lot of these Indians got the stores now, and you got to eat turkey bacon, and I don't want no motherfucking turkey bacon. I want fucking want pork, pork bacon and bacon egg and cheese again. <laughs> Nah. You brothers gonna get together and help me get outside and put some posters out calling for real bacon. I like turkey bacon. <laughs> nah, I like Oscar Mayer's honey bacon. What? He's busy. He's a honey, honey bacon. Honey bacon. You couldn't yeah. keep the tan out of you, could nah. you? had to go with it, man. So now we gonna tan. go with colors? We gonna go with colors? Yeah, no, y'all I'm crazy. Sure. Listen, so I this s- was a great time. I, I, I We appreciate time. you. I dropped my phone in the toilet, percent. y'all. I'm sorry. I was we, excited. I was, like, I was real washing real my ass and I said, late. Cause I'm like, what? Yo, I never celeb? get hit for shit. So when Shaw was like doing something, I was like, what? I started shining <laughs> and feeling good. I like good. your t-shirt though. Thank you. You That's know, it's important. It's very important. Very important. I dropped that phone in the toilet, and you know I knew I was a savage because I dug mine and think I said raw. <laughs> <laughs> Every goddamn Wait, bad it, shitty night I had, I didn't give a fuck. Raw. I was about to say, was this, was this was this after her? Uh, was this after her? Uh, uh, toilet water drizzled down my arm. <laughs> Did you? Was this, after, was this after a session? <laughs> Did you like, sanitize your phone after? <laughs> At least I mean, wipe it down with a baby it. wipe. At I least mean, something. now that you mentioned, most I could do was try to blow dry it. So I <laughs> blow dried the, the, the liquidy or whatever it was, toilet water. Mm-hmm. Anyway, guys, it's been a good time. And, we um, definitely appreciate, appreciate you. you coming. Drop down your, the your IG name. Oh, you can find me on uh, Instagram, Eb the Celeb, c- uh, the comedian, or you can find me on Facebook, Ebony Largo. I'm sometimes banned. White folk always got to knee up my ass. Um, what? And every so often, you know, I'm out here doing shows. Um, and that's it, man. Thank y'all so much for we having me. I had a real good time. We appreciate you. Appreciate we you. We definitely going to build a bridge. Shout out, Shanti. Thank you so much. Shout out. You already. You already signing off. Set the Tone Podcast. Set the Tone.